Well, hi everyone. I want to show you something else that I've been working on. This is my interpretation of what I learned while watching The Bug Junkie. She does some beautiful shape albums. At first, the first one that I did, I went step by step and I copied page by page how she did it. Because I really wasn't sure what I was doing, it also not only uses the Cricut, but it also uses the um, Design Studio. And I had it, had it for several months and just hadn't got around to playing with it. So I did by using this YouTube. Um, had a lot of fun. I learned how to weld them page by page. It was able to cut everything out. We chose different colors and a little bit different styles, but for the most part, I copied her idea page by page so I learned basically how to do the process. Like most of my albums, I've yet to put photos in, but I promise I will do it one day. But I had so much fun. I mean, look at that cute little spooky ghost friendly and yet a little boo coming out of his mouth. I actually practice on how to use the um, embossing, the uti. Had a lot of fun with that, a lot of texture. I gave it a little bit of a three-dimensional look to it. Liked it so much, I put it on the front and the back side. Another thing I played with was um, these little wiggly I'm really not sure what they're called, but Wiggly works. I did two layers of the bat. I used the little miniature pin eyes that I use in quilting. Um, they're really small for holding little pieces in place. And I thought, wow, I cut them off just a little bit and put them in place. So they're very raised up. It gives it a real three-dimensional look. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the eyeballs stick way out. And there's a wire inside that's coiled up around a pin and glued in place. And so it gives it that little wiggly movement look. Really like this. Same thing. Put some bats on the back. I love the texture of them. The other was my tree. It was a lot of work. It had a hard time cutting the um, Tim Holtz grunge paper. Um, but I think in the end, I like the, the way it turned out. My album's getting wider, so I'm going out of view. But I also did the tree on the back side as well, because too many other times my albums look really nice from the front side, but the back side of the pages aren't quite as decorated. All right, back into focus here. Here's my moon. And here's the last of my little tombstones. And like I said, this was my very first one. I, I just did it as an example to learn how to make it. And so that was my first one. Took a lot of notes to remind me how to weld things and how to place them. Then the reason why I did it was my husband's birthday was coming up. And I don't know about yours, but a long time ago, my husband was an officer on a nuclear submarine. He was in the military. And in the day, he was rather miserable and was counting his days and time until he was able to get out. But 30 some years later, it's amazing how incredible the stories are and how much he enjoyed it and how much he misses his friends. So his 54th birthday, I decided to do a shape album to remember the days and times of his Navy days. And I do want to point something out. I, I'm hoping you're getting this. The, one of the reasons why the gems in this treasure chest are looking so awesome, I've been married 31 and a half years, and I've lost a lot of earrings with all the moves we've done. And I've kept those earrings, one, because I didn't know what to do with them. So anyways, I had a lot of lost pairs. And so I ended up putting them in this treasure chest. So it actually, it does have value to it. Um, and they sparkle so nice. So anyways, that, that's my first one, is the treasure chest. Then I put this little charm on here. It was silver color and uh, seemed a little bit bright. So I went ahead and, and inked it. It turned out really nice. That was my first time to try that. And I like the results that I got. I love that pelican. Now, these 
actually have pictures of it. No, that's not my husband. That's Hyman Rickover. To get into the nuclear power submarine program, you had to have a personal interview with him. And you can look up on uh, Google some of the incredible stories about him. He was quite a character. This is a nuclear submarine. It actually has a chicken button. And when you pull it, it'll immediately go to the surface. And it really does jump up out of the water. I still have some lettering to do here. I want to put some of the dates and maybe some of the time, uh, not times, but different places he went to. Hadn't quite made up my mind, so I'm waiting on that one. This is one of the earlier nuclear submarines. I know for a lot of you, nuclear just isn't quite the thing, but I'll pre-warn you. On my honeymoon, we went to a nuclear power plant. How romantic is that? But this one has a story behind it. When they were down by San, San Croix Islands, they had some problems and they ended up staying in one place for a while and they rarely come to surface while they're underway. But the boys actually got to play on the back of the sub and they got to go um, snorkeling and they had a barbecue on the back of the sub. And so anyways, this picture reminds me of the story of them and their adventures of swimming. I put a little bit of that... Um, glossy accents on there and so it actually looks like he's got a little mask on. I thought that just turned out adorable. That came from the Cricut cartridge Life's a Beach. Really a fun cartridge. Even the nuclear submarine, please, they even had that. There's my husband a few years ago on his nuclear submarine 644 class. This was fun. It was probably about four layers of paper with glue and I let it dry on a um, pin. And so it gave it that curved tiki mask look. And this was his actual submarine that he was on, a 644 class, the Lewis and Clark. And here's some pictures of his nuclear power plant school where he was at in near Orlando, Florida. This is the nuclear sub when it was in dry docks having some work done on it. And did the same thing with the sun. Put many layers and then put some um, gesso on there and made it have a lot of texture. And these are just some of the different stories that go along with his memories. Had a really good time doing this. I can't wait for my next shape album. I thought that was really fun and I could specifically do it to my life and the story I wanted to tell. So you can find it at The Bug Junkie. Thank you gals. Bye bye.